Hey guys, if you want to see how I achieve this well-defined, bouncy, bouncy knot out, stay tuned. Two days prior to recording this video, I did blow dry my hair and I've been wearing it blow dried ever since. In order to blow dry my hair, I use a nothing but melted shea butter leave-in conditioner, organics thermal repair therapy, and some pure grapeseed oil. Alright, so I'm just taking my white tooth comb and running it through a couple times just to make sure there's no extra tangles or knots. Now I'm taking this Luster's Pink Original and adding it all over to my head for some much needed moisture. I'm trying to make sure to focus on the ends since they get the driest for me. Random fact, but Luster's Pink is the only product I've used both natural and relaxed. Next, I'm just taking this white tooth comb and sectioning my hair into three parts. Normally, I do four, but to be honest, my dog chewed my butterfly clip, so I only found these two. Next, I take a bit of Murray's beeswax and apply it to my ends to seal in any moisture, and I work it slowly up to about midway of my section. I take a brush and get rid of any little bit of tangles that might be left over. Now, I'm just twisting my hair about three-fourths of the way. When I get to the ends, I just simply twirl them together before I go into the knot. All right, it's time to get down to the nitty gritty. So what I do to create the knot, I take the tips of my fingers and hold the base, or I sometimes use it my palm of my hand and hold it down. Take the twist and coil it around the base of the knot. And to secure the knot, what I do is take the ends and tuck it under the very bottom of the knot I just created. If you have finer hair or having some sort of difficulty securing the knot, you can grab a bobby pin and place it at the bottom of the knot and it'll hold everything in place for you. Alright, so when I'm done twisting and coiling, I ended up with about 15 knots total. To keep the frizzies away, I'm going to take my Garnier Fructis Anti-Humidity Spray and spray, 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 spray. Since I'm so old, it's way past my bedtime, so I'm going to throw on this little head cap bonnet, whatever you want to call it, and take my old self to sleep. Now I'm just taking this ORS Spital Oils and applying it all over my scalp and massaging it in. Before taking down the knots, I did apply a little bit of oil to help ease the process and seal in the moisture. And voila, well-defined hair. Now that all the knots are loose, I'm just gonna go back, double check and make sure I got all of them and separate the hair just a little bit further. Now I'm just gonna shake out my hair a little bit to add more volume. I prefer this method, but you could definitely use a white tooth comb if you want. This method definitely got me the well-defined, soft, and bouncy hair that I wanted. And it definitely left me feeling myself just a little bit, as you can tell. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Now, as far as what's going on on the inside. On this left side here, I did keep some, some write-ups or proposals for a couple of...